And sticking with entertainment, today is National Short Film Day. Earlier in the show, we spoke with Terry Lee, a local filmmaker. And when it was time to show her work, she went to Imagine Theatres. Here to talk about how directors can show their film in-house is Paul Glantz. Paul, great to see you again. Hi, Meredith. So you're one of few theaters uh, that are really supporting these local filmmakers uh, this way. Tell us about your support of short films. You know, uh, we absolutely believe that we're part of the overall film culture in Michigan, and we want to be a contributing member to that. And so we want to host young directors and, and up-and-coming uh, talent. And we think that that's an important role and something we should be dedicated to. So what does it look like when you say, you know, you're screening short films? What's that process like? You know, most people get their start making films doing short films. Mm. And, um, you know, I always say that I'd like to befriend the next Steven Spielberg while he or she is in his, uh, you know, early career. Uh, and so that's really what this is about. It's, it's helping those filmmakers see their product on the big screen because I think it's, it's different than watching it on a, on a small screen. And can people reserve theaters? Yes, you can reserve a theater. And, uh, and that's very uh, common. In fact, we do a lot of premieres for uh, Michigan-made films where the directors will have a cast and crew premiere or they'll invite guests. Uh, you know, one of the most prominent local filmmakers, Keith Amy, we do a lot of premieres for some of Keith's work. Mm, so I'm not too familiar with the film industry. I mean, obviously, uh, your really feature-length films are what you, you mainly screen, uh, but what really constitutes a, a short film? Oh, a short film would be anything between 5 and 15 minutes in duration. And, uh, and again, these are uh, snippets. Uh, you might consider them uh, extended TikTok videos, only uh, with, with greater artistry associated with them and, and really a little storyline. Yeah, and, and what, in your opinion, makes them so special? Because you said that's, that's sort of the intro into the industry for many people. Well, I think that's just it. It's your intro. It's, it's your, uh, your calling card, so to speak. It's to demonstrate your competence and your creativity. And so we want to showcase that in our venues and show it on the big screen, not just for you know, folks that have made the film, but also for those that want to see what these young filmmakers are doing. Yeah, so let's talk about cost for a second. How affordable is it for um, you know, filmmakers to screen their films at well, Imagine? Well, we endeavor to make it as uh, reasonably priced as possible. And you know, there are times when our venues are not really busy. Mm -hmm. So for example, there'll be times like a Sunday afternoon when we, we've got room to uh, show those films. And, uh, and because we wouldn't otherwise have a packed house, then it's very uh, inexpensive for those folks to be using our venue. Yeah, so we talked about you know, the, the ability to reserve a theater. So what's the process to do that? How can people do that? They can go to uh, imagine-entertainment.com, uh, host an event. And you could fill out a form. And we've got folks who specialize in putting on uh, birthday parties and events and screenings. And you can just simply let us know what your plans are, and we'll we'll find a slot for you. That's great. And remind us where you're located. You have several locations throughout well, the area. Well, we have lots of locations. We've got, think about Canton, Novi, uh, Rochester Hills, Royal Oak, uh, Hart, Heartland, uh, uh, Celine. <laughs> so we'll find you someplace here in southeast Michigan. All right. Well, thanks so much for stopping in on National Short Film Day. I learned now what constitutes a short film. I appreciate it, Paul. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Meredith.